All right. We're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to all the Akimah to push in the word of sincerity and the truth. And this lesson is just going to go into the comfort, comforter. All right, which we have the scripture where it goes into Yahweh Shah speaking about how he's going to leave a comforter. And that comforter represents the Holy Spirit, which when you read in John 60, 6 and 63, the spirit that quickeneth is, is the words. That's why the scripture says that the words that I speak unto you, they are, they are life and they are truth. And these words, they are a comfort. All right. And we have the definition of comfort because when you're in tough times and you're in tough conditions, you can always meditate on, upon these words and they'll actually help uh, alleviate the pain, alleviate the distress and whatever you're going through. That's right. If you have a, a, a father or a mother, a close relative that passes away, you understand the script, what the scriptures speak about. Like it tells you what's that in uh, Isaiah 57, for example, if you could bring that out. It says the righteous perish. Let's see, uh, I think that's it. Yep. That's uh, it. Isaiah 57 and 1. The righteous perisheth and no man layeth it to heart. Yeah, so when an individual in your family dies, it says the righteous perish and no man layeth it to heart. Keep going. And merciful men are taken away. And merciful men are taken away. So that's a, a, a sign of mercy. All right, and that's one amongst many scriptures. And I just use that as a prime example of when you're in certain situations of what you can meditate on. Like I said, if a family member dies, if you are sick, remember what the scriptures speak about, you know, to pray upon the Lord. And at the end of the day, the Lord is, um, you know, with you in your distress. And even if you're in your sicknesses and, and in lower states, the scriptures speak about blessed is the man that's poor and blessed are the meek, for they shall receive the kingdom of heaven. When you financially low and you're in just uh, dire woes, so to speak, you always have a scripture that's prescribed for any illness or any sickness or ailment that you're going through. So that's the ultimate comfort of these words. All right. So we're going to go into the definition of comfort and we're going to build from there. Just a little bit more. Okay, you got it. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Right. So when you are actually thinking on somebody that's that's dead, all right, when a, a close relative passes, majority of these different individuals, they think initially, all right, that was a, a close companion and you can't live without them on earth. But the scripture speak about what you just read. Read that again. Okay. It says, uh, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Right. So the people don't even consider for the fact that when individuals die, they're taken away from the evil that's to come. That's a mercy killing, man. If your father or your mother all right, or, or a close relative has passed in your family, at the end of the day, the scriptures speak about how, you know, it's, it's mercy. You know, because it's going to be evil times. It's going to be bad situations that's going to hit this earth, man. All right. And I, like I said, I just wanted to use that as a prime example because that's going to be a topic for another time. All the destruction that's coming to this place. But at the end of the day, we always have the words uh, written from the prophets, from the, the Old Testament onto the New Testament. And there's always a, a writing. There's always a situation that we went through that the men of the Lord already went through to actually guide and navigate us to, to safety, man. Right. The scriptures speak about how in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. This is a book of counsel. All right, there's, there's a book of wisdom. All right, it's a, it's a book, book of tribulations and, and trials. Matter of fact, I got that too. Oh, you got that? Okay. Yeah, this is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. Right, so every all these scriptures is inspired by the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei All right, and like the scriptures speak about when you're going through things, there's no situation that's uncommon to man at the end of the day, man. You're going through things that the men of the Lord went through, especially in his faith when you broke. The scriptures speak about how we're going to be poor. All right. The scriptures speak about all these different things. How we not how we're going to have to suffer for you. How sake. So that's the inspiration. The word inspiration means to put the spirit in. The spirit is the comfort. You put these comforted comforters comforting words, excuse me, inside of your vessel. And this is what actually warms you and basically uh, helps you, um, you know, like I said, alleviate the stress, which I'm going to read this word comfort God, and we're going to go back into it. But this word comfort, like it says, a warm quilt, a person or thing that provides consolation. And that thing is the scriptures. Like it says, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yep. Mm -hmm. or, a wool, or a woolen scarf. So that's the that's the words. The words is the comfort. And that's the inspiration. Just let's like. Up, it's like I was going to say, let's look up that word. Uh, consolation. Okay. 
Yeah, because uh, like the brother beautifully brought out, all right, um, you know, the scriptures give us uh, everything that we need, all right, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's the medicine, it's to heal us from anything that that we're going through, any any strait or situation that we're going through. And that mm -hmm. word, consolation, it says, comfort received mm. by a person after a loss or disappointment. See that? Com com comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. And we receive a lot of disappointments and a lot of losses, but that's why we have the scriptures as a consolation or a comfort when we go through these different things. We don't have anything on these side, but that's why, hey, like when you read in Revelation, the third chapter, you poor and you rake. Uh, wretched and all these different things but it said but thou art rich How, mm -hmm. why are we rich because we have the knowledge and wisdom of your how by shimei was shy right. we understand the things that's now and we understand the things which is to come which is the kingdom of heaven yeah and uh you know it says after a loss and disappointment has has uh jacob you so-called negro latinos and native americans have you not suffered from loss losses and disappointment since you've been in america mm -hmm. you know have you have you not gone through that? But this is the consolation. This is this is what's gonna basically uh, uh, get you out of your situation. You know? mm -hmm. That's uh, why uh, okay. David referred to it as the waters, man. And all the men of the Lord refers to it as, as waters. When you drink out of waters, what does it do? It nourishes you, hydrates you, hydrates you. It helps you be become more fluent. All right. It helps you. Uh, 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 you know, it helps your thirst. Because if you don't. If you're without water for a time being, then you'll die, man. You'll thirst and die out. So these words are your are your your water, so to speak. When you're in this dry desert, which is Babylon, and you're malnourished, and you're you're depressed, and you're oppressed from all these different things that the so-called white man is pushing down upon you, mm -hmm. you have something to push against it, which is the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Our right, right. Ephesians six and ten. But yeah. you can keep going. Kind of says. Uh all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and mm -hmm. is profitable for doctrine. Right, so the scriptures is profitable, all right, because it's given to the Most High to profit who? Man. Profit man in his situations and everything that he goes through. That's why I said that earlier. It's always a prescribed writing for anything that you go through, whether you, you're without a woman, whether you're without money, whether you're without, a, you know, like a social life, so to speak. You're just financially insecure, whether you lost uh, substance. Whether you lost, you know, uh, a, a household. At the end of the day, there's a scripture that, that's provided for all these different things to comfort you. Mm -hmm. Keep men, going. Men that that uh, that basically went through it before you went through it, mm -hmm. you know, and and set an example. And and here they are. They talked about you know uh, thousands of years later. But it says, uh, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, mm -hmm. for correction. For instruction and righteousness, right? And that's so the, comfort. Yeah, that's the comfort. And that word comfort, the uh, it's a compound word. Come is with and fort is fortitude. Mm -hmm. What's a fortification for? To protect you, to shield you. It's not these scriptures known as the shield and buckler. A shield and buckler is to protect you. All right, from the, what the fiery darts and the wiles of the devil, as the scriptures say. All right, keep going. Come on. Uh, that the man of the Most High may be perfect. Thoroughly, uh, thoroughly finished, thoroughly, it's like a thoroughly, thoroughly furnished, thoroughly uh, furnished unto all good works. So through these words, that's how we become thorough and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's how we become pure. All right, as it is written in Psalms 119 and 9, how shall we cleanse our, work, our way by taking heed unto the uh, ways of Yahweh by Shimei Shah? All right, that's right. And um, get this in Psalms 119 and 50. I'll read it. It's uh, Psalms 119 and 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. Right. And like I said earlier in John 6, 63, the word quicken means to make alive again. Because in this world, in this dark, uh, gross, evil world that we're living in, everything that's being pushed at us is to, to essentially depress us and strip the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah out of us. Mm -hmm. But that's why we always have to do what? Charge and stay tuned. And locked in, locked into the uh, battery source. What's the battery source? This this truth, man. That's why it's known as the oil. Scriptures speak about how the virgins that was wise they kept doing what dipping into this oil, kept retrieving more and more uh, of these resources of this the spirit, so that their light would always be uh, projected. And the ones that were foolish, they didn't do so, and they light they light went out. And when it was bad times, they didn't have the proper um, energy to navigate. 
All right, so these words are, are a quickening agent and they're a livening agent. They're, they're all these different words written from David, Solomon, Timothy, uh, you know, Paul through, through Timothy, of course. He wrote to the uh, Timothy, mm -hmm. Titus, the book of Titus, Acts, Matthew, Revelations. All these different words are written for a reason. This is a big book of comfort, man. Yeah. All right. And it makes you feel much better throughout your walk, okay? You know, when you're going through something and, and you know, you read the scriptures, after you read the, script, after you read the, the scriptures, you feel better. That weight is lifted off your so shoulders. Right. All right? Hey, prime example is the book of Psalms. Psalms is 150 mm -hmm. chapters. Of, of A majority of it is mornings and situations that David went through. Mm -hmm. And he wrote these different things. So men of the Lord, when we go through these situations... We could emulate the same feeling and we don't even have to conjure up these same writings. We have them already provided for us in mm -hmm. scripts, man. We don't have to write a, a, a poetry, so to speak. We don't have to inscribe writings because we have this poetic book that's here to nurture us and guide our souls, man. Right. This is what, what nourishes the babes. This is what gr grows us up. Scriptures speak about as new, uh, newborn babes desire the sincere milk that they may grow thereby. This is what helps us grow up. I read that earlier how a comfort is uh, also a quilt, all right? A quilt is to do what? To warm you, all right? To, to build you up, so to speak, to keep you nourished, all right? So it's the same thing with these words. And uh, you can read this in John 15. John, John 15 and 26. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. Which is the, which is the scriptures, the Holy Spirit. I read that earlier. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Even the spirit of truth. Even is another word for which is. Which is the spirit of truth. Keep going. Which proceeded from the Father. Which proceeded from the Father. Just read that in Timothy. How it's the inspiration of the Most High. And all these words come ultimately through the spirit from the spirit of the Father. Yahweh by Shimei Shah. That's right. He shall testify of me. He shall testify of me. Keep going. And ye also shall bear witness. Because ye have been with me from the beginning. Right. And are we not the ones that bear witness and speak about how Yahweh Shai is the Savior and our Lord? And he's been since the beginning. All right. He's the one that established the heavens and the earth and actually established us, Lord willing, with those men, the church of the firstborn, as the scriptures say. But you keep going. Oh, that was it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, so get this in Matthew 9 and 12. I'll read it. Yeah. It says, but when Yahweh Shai heard... That he saith unto them, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. All right. And these these scriptures mm -hmm. is the, the spiritual physician. All right. This is what what cleanses you. This is what heals you. As it is written in the scriptures also I, I, in one of the letters, I can't quote it, um, you know, off, off back, so to speak. I don't re recall. I can find it, but I'm not going to go into it right now. But it speaks about how the law is established for whoremongers, for manslayers. For for stealers and things of that nature. For sinners. For sinners, right? Mm -hmm. Because like I said, these words is for the ones that's sick. When you're sick, what do you need? You need a prescribed medicine to make you whole again. That's why you that's where you get the word healthy. The word healthy means to make whole. And these words make us whole because we've been damaged and fractured in this society. This society has been pushing mm -hmm. and breaking our minds down, but we have something to build us up. And to make us whole again, which is the words of Yahweh by Shimei Yeah. All right. That's how that's how we know this word is living and it's it's organic, man. Mm -hmm. It's power. All right. Yeah, and our people are are sick, man. All you gotta do is just look around. Mm -hmm. You know, just look around, drive around, and just see the condition of these people today. They're all sick in the head. You know, just mentally demons and you know demons infested in their mind. You that's know, right. so they need they need. The scriptures and they need men of the Lord to basically heal them, mm -hmm. you know, to to take them, you know, out of their misery and 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 bring them uh, to to the to their true power. All right, make them whole. Yeah, it's beautiful you said God. that because the last scripture goes into that God. how the men of the Lord and that was the job that is the job of the men of the Lord to go and heal the sick and as the scripture says, cleanse the leper. Now we don't have these physical gifts of, of miracles, but we have these spiritual gifts. And, and it's through all uh, chanting these words unto our people, all right? Just like how we woke up. We woke up from some brothers was ex-cons, ex-felons, mm -hmm. ex-drug dealers, ex-drug takers, pimps, all right? They came from various walks of life. We came from various walks of life. And through the word nourishing us and building us, we stripped ourselves from that 
and put ourselves fully into the involvement of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, because we, like I said earlier, and like the brother also expounded on, we were damaged from the conditions of the world, but we have something that's, that's to comfort us, to take us away from the damage. All right, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I'm gonna read this, and this is gonna be the end scripture. Come on, come on. Luke 9 and 1, it says, Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of the Most High and to heal the sick. That's right. And they did it through the spirit of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Okay. They did it through the spirit of truth and the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai. That's how it said, because uh, when Yahweh Shai left, he said, what he said i'll give you my spirit okay mm -hmm. you know he'll he'll physic he physically won't be present but his spirit he left us a gift which is the spirit and that's how we uh that's how the men of the lord uh uh did these things mm -hmm. you know that's right and, and that's why the men of the lord when they went through these different things they always gave all praises and honor and glory to you how about shim shot and confessed the name and always showed that's where they got their power from same thing that we do Time, all right. right, so you know that was just a short lesson. Hopefully, you brothers are edified because it's very, very important to to get into these scriptures when you're going through things, man. Because men of the Lord were susceptible, and really, this path is designed for us to go through obstacles to do what? Apply these words. That's how you gain wisdom. The scriptures speak about how a man through much traveling gain of uh, knowledge, and the knowledge, the travelings that we're doing is the different voyages and the different things that we go through in this faith. And as we apply these words, that's how we gain more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So that's we're right. going to end it by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom.